Boy, was last night a whirlwind Extreme Rules 2021. You know, some people I really think was not a fan of it, especially on Twitter, some people ranting about certain matches, but I really was happy with most of them. I think the women's championship match certainly just did it for me, man. You know, the main event was actually pretty good. I didn't expect it. Let me jump right into 2021 WWE Extreme Rules pay-per-view. The 2021 Extreme Rules pay-per-view has a kickoff show with Liv Morgan who takes on Carmella. You know, this was one of those 10 minute regular matchups, but sometimes these do not disappoint. But with Liv Morgan hitting a flatliner to pick up the win, I was happy to see Liv Morgan get some spotlight. Carmella has had that spotlight in the past, but these two women, I think it was divided the ability, and I think it was just perfect. The official Extreme Rules kicks off with AJ Styles and Amos and Bobby Lashley taking on The New Day alongside Big E with them too. You know, with Big E just hungry to show dominance, especially with his championship match later against Bobby Lashley, Big E just goes straight for Bobby Lashley and Omos, and then turning the tables with his attention to AJ Styles. Bobby Lashley trying to get back in the match, but Big E hitting a big ending, helping the New Day retain those tag team championships. Next, we have the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, Jimmy and Jay Uso battle the Street Profits. You know, with the Usos taking control in the first part of this match, I really didn't expect anything crazy you know the street profits then gaining momentum of course it balances itself out whatever i'm gonna take it only lead to the use of hitting a double splash to retain the smackdown tag team championships i think after extreme rules everybody's gonna understand why the uso is retained the queen charlotte flair then took on alexa bliss after just non-stop back and forth roll-ups and pinfalls charlotte flair actually grabs the lily doll and throws it at alexa bliss kind of distracting alexa like oh this is my baby and then she boop, boots her right in the face man picking up the win then after charlotte flair takes the lily doll and rips it up and alexa bliss runs back in the ring and starts crying i think she had like some type of foam thing in her mouth that was supposed to work it didn't work as well but i see what they were trying to do but the segment was okay whatever alexa bliss taking it out but something has got to change so we're going to see tonight on raw if something comes up with alexa bliss and lily the united states championship is on the line next you know this match i was looking forward to of course the triple threat damian priest versus jeff hardy versus that celtic warrior sheamus you know a great match with all men just seriously dominating one another Sheamus is just the ultimate powerhouse in this match, I could tell. But, you know, I was happy. Damien Priest did retain with a schoolboy pinfall after then sending Jeff Hardy out of the ring. Jeff Hardy, man, I don't know if he's ever going to get a title win. But, you know what, Damien Priest is still the United States champion. I will take it. The man, Becky Lynch, defends the Raw Women's Championship against the ESC of WWE. You know who it is, guys? Bianca Belair. These two women were the stars of the show. And when I say stars, they really were. These women do not disappoint. Becky trying to lock up Bianca early as Sasha Banks does make her way down. She does cause a disqualification. You know, I'm happy Becky Lynch didn't lose. Kind of her first match back, especially after pregnancy. Bianca Belair still somewhat looking strong, not taking an L, even though she didn't take a win, kind of, you know what I mean. But Sasha Banks, man, she's back and she is better than ever. The Demon Finn Balor takes on Roman Reigns for our main event and the Universal Championship is on the line. You know, the tables turn when Roman kicks out of a coup de grace from the Demon as Jimmy and Jay then interfere as Finn goes for a pinfall onto Roman. The Demon does fight off the Uso outside as Roman then rams Balor through the barricade with Finn then down and out, red light just kind of start flickering everywhere and then Finn just flops like a fish, kind of, like, like, it was really weird, but I really liked seeing it and people did too. And then he like jumps up like he's a superhero and then he just gets right back into it and starts going crazy. Then Finn then pushes Roman right through a table. It was just, oh my God, I just had goosebumps and then throws him back into the ring as Balor then gets on the top rope to hit like another coup de grace of some sort as, well, the lights were all red and there was smoke everywhere. I couldn't really see much. But then all of a sudden the top rope collapses, fins down and out like in agony, and then Roman hits a spear to retain. I don't know if it was botched, but I think it was actually set up like that. But man, nobody saw that coming and oh, was it just awesome. But still Roman Reigns, your universal champion. The demon is of course now not undefeated. He was, Roman Reigns is still undefeated. Man, I don't know what to think about it. Some people are happy, some people aren't, but 
you gotta do what you gotta do and that was the extreme rules pay-per-view with roman reigns still standing tall closing out the show let me know what everybody thought about it i will present to you a monday night raw recap hopefully with kyle on tuesday but if not i will do it alone of course i will see you guys tomorrow morning no chance of that